Hi everyone, I'm Parker. I'm an engineer here at Duff Norton. Here's Jesse, uh, he's the assembly supervisor, and he's gonna show you guys how to assemble a rotating uh, screw jack here. Hey everybody, like I said, I'm Jesse Canyon, assembly supervisor. Uh, what we have today put together is a five ton rotating uh, upright actuator. So I'm just gonna do basics. Pretty much all the, rot not all of them, but most of the rotating jacks, two ton, five ton, 10 ton, they're basically the same. Just different parts, some are smaller, some are larger, but uh, basically all the same. So uh, of course you got all your parts here, your shell, bearings, Pull us on your gear and your worm. We already pressed the bearings on there. So you just need to press, a hand press, whatever, to press those on. So we got an expansion plug. Normally they either get a plug to keep trash out or a small pipe. So you can use either a fixture that we have in house or you could use a pipe or a piece of wood, whatever, just to plug the hole up. Put the uh, plug in. That keeps it in place. Normally we put a little bit of silicone or RTV sealant but just to seal it up real good. So now we're gonna put the bearing race in. They just tap it in there until they it. On these, the gear is actually uh, bolted to the uh, screw, lifting screw. So of course it just slides on the end of the screw. You have a key to engage it. Gonna slide right in there. And you have a lock nut to lock it all down. Just normally make sure it's uh, tight against the gear. Make sure you have no end play in it. Go ahead and slide a worm with the bearings on it. Or just normally it's easier to slide that in. Not all the way, just about halfway. Then we'll just drop the uh, gear down into the shell. So it should sit right in there. We have your top race. in there and the shell cap to hold everything together snug it down normally it's good to put a little uh, load on it braces for the worm go ahead and install those all right and then to bolt it all together lock bolts with the lock washers on it We have shims to shim it up. You can either add or take away some of the shims to get the right uh, torque on your worm. Of course, you don't want an end play in it, so we'll check that. Tighten the shell cap up, which we did. And of course, we normally spot drill it, lock it down with little set screws, we we'll run those in. Always have them grease fit and grease the unit. And then last but not least, we have a lifting nut where the customer actually connects their load to the unit. And that's what raises and lowers when the jack rotates, this nut will go up and down. Basically, that's your five ton upright uh, rotating screw jack. Now we're going to disassemble our uh, five ton actuator rotating screw. So basically just take your lifting nut off. Of course you set screws that lock down the shell cap, remove those. And normally there's a load on the shell cap, we tap it loose. There's no uh, different way you can uh, take this apart, you can take the flanges off first, we'll take the shell cap off first, it doesn't matter. So we'll go ahead and take that off. Next we'll go ahead and break free the bolts on the flanges. Normally your gear, you can just grab the screw, just wiggle it around, and just pull it straight up out of the unit. And then to pull the worm out, the races in there, sometimes you have to tap them out. Then uh, basically just take your brace out if you want to replace the bearings in it. Sometimes you have to uh, tap it out. There you go. And of course if you want to replace
place that uh, plug for dirt stuff, it should just knock right out. Comes out, and there you go. Just a same old uh, five-ton unit.